Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel today doing paid reviews. Paid reviews. This here is for. Uh, this here is for Riku. Riku. Okay, dear Archie, I'm a 27 year old guy from Finland, and I work in a multinational industrial company. I've been interested in watches for about two years now. I'm writing to you because I would like you to give me comments and opinions about my latest watch purchase. I bought a Breitling Avenger 2 GMT as my first decent watch. I bought it used from Chrono24 and I paid 2,300 euro for it. Do you think it's a good price? It was in excellent condition and only had over, it was only a little over two years old. I was considering, uh, let's have a look here, I was considering the Omega Seamaster Dive 300, uh, the Tudor Black Bay or the Grand Seiko SBR Fuck, who cares about this Grand Seiko shit? But I ended up buying the Breitling. That's, um, okay, fair enough. You wanted, he wanted the Breitling, so he got the Breitling. The Breitling, what do I think of that? I don't know if I would have fucking bought a Avenger 2. The only fucking two Breitlings I really like are the Navi Timer and the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2. That's the only two fucking combo meal deal pieces that I really like. I mean, fuck. You know, I, I would have liked it if you could have uh, asked me for the advice kind of before you bought the fucking thing. I, I don't understand this. Why would you ask after you fucking already bought this fucking thing? I don't, I don't quite get it. Do you, do you get that? Can I please ask you that? I don't get it. Why you would actually... Um, Buy it and then ask me what I think. Isn't that kind of fucking stupid? <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think there? Um, you know, I, I mean, the Avenger, it's not my cup of tea. It's a big, chunky man watch. Big, 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 chunky man watch. Um, I bought the Breitling because I thought it had a very attractive price and it really, I really liked the look of it. Because it had 300 meter water resistance and a GMT function, it really offers a great bang per buck on my opinion i mean are you giving the advice or am i giving the advice here hey what do you reckon <clears throat> what do you think of the brightling model and do you think it's a good first luxury watch or should i have bought something else for the watch watches i considered look i gotta be completely honest with you i don't want to fucking argue with you ricky because you've sent me money and you know i i do need the money but you only sent me 20 bucks so i'm gonna tell you the fucking brutal truth why the fuck did you buy that why the fuck did you buy that? Man, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, sometimes when you buy things because they're cheap, they're fucking stinkers. They're fucking stinkers. That's just my advice. Okay? The Breitling Avenger 2. Mmm, I'm not so sure. Now, just out of interest here, let's have a look at this. See, what I do is, you know, these, these books behind me aren't just show queens. See, so I can pull out a catalog. I can pull out a catalog anytime i want and i can find the watch that the uh the punters have bought there so i i very easily can turn into the book here and we can show you exactly what the fuck what kind of a fucking mistake you have made there so avenger 2 is like this big fucker here what do i think what did I think? I think it's fucking huge! I don't know why you did that. Why did you fucking do that? Oh, that's right. You told me it was cheap. Yes, yes, yes. So what did you get? You got an Avenger 2 GMT. Avenger 2. So that would have been like something like this. Yeah, I suppose it's okay. I mean, you could have bought a fucking Squally. You could have bought a fucking Squally or a, some other fucking... Bell and Ross or fucking host of other horrors, but I'm I, I, I'm not not a huge fan of the Avenger. I mean, what you tell me? What do you fuckers think? I I think it's a big chunky. It's not my cup of tea. No, I wouldn't have bought it. No, but you didn't fucking ask my advice. No, you go and fire the gun and then you ask me afterwards. You know, it's like sort of being pregnant. Fuck me dead. Fuck me dead. But, I mean, the, the Breitling, it's, you could have bought a lot worse. It's, I wouldn't, I fucking can't stand the fucking thing. I can't fucking stand it, okay? I, I don't particularly like it. As I said, 
The only Brightlings I really like are the Brightling Super Ocean Heritage 2 and the Navi Timer. But anyhow, it's okay. You, you bought it. <laughs> what the fuck can I say? Fuck! Um, so, I, I, I would have much preferred the Tudor Black Bay Heritage. Yeah, <clears throat> I reckon that would have been better. But you've already pulled the trigger. You can't pull out too soon. I now have two watches. The bright thing. And you've got a Tissot. You've got a Tissot Chimen de Tours. It's, uh, I got the Tissot. Now, this was your parents who bought this for you. I mean, I, I don't understand. Why are your parents so fucking stingy? I mean, fuck me dead. Can't they get... Can't they have got you a fucking Rolex or something like that? I mean, fuck. You, you know, I'm not trying to be nasty. I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to be nice there to you. But, I, I, I mean, it, it, it's an okay sort of watch. It's an okay sort of watch. It's, uh... Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's nothing... It's nothing really... It's nothing that fucking... Nothing to really write home about, but your parents gave it to you, okay. I must admit, my old man was a stingy fucking son of a bitch as well. He's a stingy son of a bitch as well. So, okay, I now have two watches, the Breitling and a Tissot. Shem des Tours, C-O-S-C, -C. that's Kosek, that's the, the certification. I got the Tissot from my parents when I graduated from uni. I mean, I would have fucking screwed the sons of bitches for a Rolex. That's what you want to get when you finish uni, but that's okay. Tight ass fuckers are everywhere. I really like the Tissot with its Kosick certification and 80 hours of power reserve. I think it's good value for money. Yeah, I don't always want to buy the cheapest. <clears throat> of course, it's not a great watch, but it's the watch that got me interested about this hobby because I had to find out about watch basics. Tell me what you think of the two-piece collection. What should I buy next? I'm thinking about a dress watch or a chronograph. I wear... Dress shirts and a work and a suit a couple times a week, so I think a dress watch would be nice. <coughs> okay, tell me what you think of the two-piece collection. I wouldn't have fucking bought either of those fucking two things. I'm not particularly impressed by it. They're not my cup of tea. You could have done a lot better, but you could have done a lot worse. Um, yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my opinion, okay? I think you could have done a lot better. Uh, you could have done a lot worse. Tell me what you think of the collection. I'd say it's fucking average. Fucking mediocre. And I think you should have asked for the fucking advice before you fucking bought that garbage. But okay, let's back the truck up. Back the truck up, fuckers. Uh, <clears throat> I think, forget the dress watch. Dress watches are dead. It's not the 90s, sunshine. The 90s are over. The 90s are over. <coughs> get yourself a steel sports Rolex. That's what the fuck you need to get. That's what you should buy. Steel Sports Rolex. You can wear that with a suit. Any watch that isn't an Apple watch with an analog display is a cool watch. So, man, forget this dress watch. This shit. That, that stuff's... The 90s are over, man. Um, I'd get a Steel Sports Rolex. Get an Explorer 1. Get a get a Air King. Get a uh, Milgauss. <laughs> Very simple, elegant Rolex. Rolex. It'll make up for those two fucking mistakes you made there. That's what I'd be doing. Uh, keep up the good work. I really enjoy your channel and help, your help has been priceless. You've taught me a lot about watches and saved me from buying shitters. Fuck, I thought you just bought two sh Well, semi-shitters, but <laughs> anyhow, let's just, let's just leave it at that. Uh, please don't use my full name. Of course not. I don't want to embarrass you. Um, so, okay, what did I fucking think? I think, I think, get a fucking Rolex, man. Forget this dress watch shit. Rolex is cool. Any watch that's analog and not a fucking, doesn't have a fucking battery in it is a cool watch. <laughs> Get a fucking Rolex! Rolex! You've had two fucking mistakes. So let's just jump in the deep end and get yourself a Rolex. I'd get myself a Any Steel Sports Stunner. Any Steel Sports Stunner. Fuckers! Any Steel Sports Stunners. That's what I'd be getting. Uh, <clears throat> as I said, Explorer 1, 39mm. Mil, Milgauss. That's a cool watch. Uh, Air King, the Air King, you know, the, the 30, the 40 mil, 40 mil Air King with the, uh, the green and the gold, you know, that, 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 that'd be a great combo deal. Get yourself a fucking Rolex, that's what I do. F stop playing with these toys, get yourself a 
Real watch. Get a fucking Rolex. Rolex, man. Rolex. Fuck that shit up. Get a fucking Rolex. That's what I'd be doing, man. You've come in very hard. You've had a very bad landing. Get the fucking Rolex. That's what I'd be doing. Get a fucking Rolex. Get a Rolex, man. Rolex. Okay, there you go. Paul Pluto on the Archie Luxury Channel. Tell me what you fuckers think of that. Quick wristwatch check. Wristwatch check. I'm wearing a Hoya Monaco Caliber 11 fuckeroonies. Caliber 11 fuckers. Caliber 11. Quick wristwatch check. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Tell your circle jerking fuckhead friends. And don't forget, put a few comments below. Tell me what you fuckheads think of that. <laughs>